Yeah, no, you ain't no psycho. You're not one of my regulars. I'll tell you about Angel Lori. She's she's amazing. First of all, she has an amazing husky. She's a friend of mine too. She's a she has a she has an amazing husky. He's like a person. His name's Thor. And then, but she also she gets orbs in her room all the time. They go around Thor all the time. They go around her. Um, they go in her like she has uh you know cameras in her room in her bedroom and the orbs go um they come into her bed and they the one like went up under her covers it's it's <laughs> very she, she has like I don't know if it's like uh you know like soul family or or you know what but um so yeah she and she also might be used in like the secret space program or something like that um uh, yeah so whatever yeah. you can pick up she's I guess she's a general you know but oh, uh, that's yeah incredible. And I just saw spider bite said, um, so true, thank you. So thank you for um, confirming. It's always lovely to to see like what fits. So let me just get some. Yeah, I, I love when we get confirmations. And um, by the way, Andromedan said, cool, thank you for his for his reading as oh. well. So thank you. That, oh, that's thank amazing. You. I love, that's what I love them. I mean, that's what I'm, I'm gonna love to have, have you back on again, because like, honestly, like, I love like you, you know, I love the way you do readings and then also I love that you have like all this like UFO evidence and orb evidence like it's fascinating <laughs> to me somebody that has actual evidence you know like and it's, it's like you know I I see people out there that are really like trying to and this is where I say like it's good to have discernment because some people will have like a real huge energy charge on having contact, but they might have like an anger that comes from it. So not all of the UFOs and things that we see pictures of have like a positive energy because um, I've been in the UFO field for quite a long time now and seen like various different things and different personalities and that that don't necessarily will have a different energy publicly compared to what they do on a personal side. So, you know, I always say, you know, face reading, look at the eyes in congruency with the smile, just like how, you know, we point out some of the reptilian energies. Um, you'll see there's an inconsistency when they smile with some of the politicians or, you know, some of the royals and things. Um, but yeah, I, I was looking into this deck. I don't have the box of it out, but it's like a hidden, a hidden realms kind of deck. And I really felt like we were tapping more into this whole other ethereal realm for um, for Angel. And it's the sky fire, uh, sky fire. So we can actually see here, like it's almost like an ethereal type being or princess and it's messages, channels and information. So I would say that she's definitely like receiving messages, receiving contact and things. And I love the name of her dog, Thor. That's so cute. So we'll just get some clarifiers to go with what spirit wants us to know for her at the moment or a message. So four cards and they're telling me to flip this over. So we have, wow. So the first card that comes up, this is three of cups. There might be some people that she's letting go of at the moment or other people that are just not on that same level. She gives so much and she really like brings a lot of value to connections, to contacts. And she may have even had like where people have perhaps taken advantage of this in the past. So I feel like it's it's cutting free from dead weight. But I feel that there's not feeling guilty about this. We've got a two of wands. So a two of wands um, in my favorite deck, the Thoth deck, is called the card of dominion. So how have a look at people that like bring your frequency down because you have such a high vibe energy. I just feel like spirits like just become really aware of how your energy is in certain circles or certain people definitely protect energetically. Um, a two of wands is also looking out into the future where you've got perhaps a block of land and it's looking at what do I want? What kind of friends do I want to have? What kind of, um, you know, soul tribe do I want? Then we've got four of swords, which is healing. And this is going into like a stasis or hibernation meditation energy. So sometimes this will also come up when someone's a healer. Um, so you get it for both like healing, working on yourself. It's also known as the card of truce, but it's Libra energy. So it's a really beautiful, harmonious uh, energy. And then Queen of Swords. So where we were talking about before receiving messages, like with that veil card and being sort of more of a princess with hidden realms and things, the Queen of Swords is about taking her mask off. She's not trying to be everyone for everything anymore. She's learned her boundaries. She's learned like lessons from the past. She's not afraid to tell it how it is anymore. And with her, she also, we can see this channel come in with star-like veil energy, just like we had in the other cards. So I do feel this is you upgrading into like a whole nother level. And you'll see it's actually, I find it interesting how spirit will bring through 
similar energy. So again, some kind of focus on the crown and stars. And then we have the same thing here. So wow. there's a lot of attention that spirit's trying to draw towards her crown chakra. Um, I just want to pick one quick one to do with the orbs. So we've got Dawn, Watcher, Caretaker, Guardian, and Support. So it seems like a lot of the orbs around her are watching over her, caretaking, offering support, and guardianship. So really, really beautiful. And so cool she catches them on camera. Wow, that's amazing. It's amazing. Well, this was amazing. Um, I, I, I'd love to have you on the show, and I'd love to have you back on again. Um, do you want to tell her? And thank you so much. Yeah, no, you ain't no psycho You're not like the others, no No changing behaviors Not sure how to act around you So colorful and bright, yeah I wanna be an artifact You made me come alive